Do they throw people to be honest, do you? Elliot, tell us a story. Oh, this place. Rumnet, my tell us a story, tell us a story. So basically this was a farm playing wheel. Um yeah, I don't know if I've been through two walls. Come into my equip, you pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, I see. So all the inmates of the Dorgish prison are now on the loose. Yes, Those are some really bad and also quite disappointing news. It makes me wonder if it was that smart to put all my faith in your department, Agent Classified. I stand for the mistakes I made, and I promise that I will not disappoint you again. Still, it was also probably my fault. Having an entire prison be guarded by only one man might not have been my greatest decision. You do realize you are an exact copy of the former agent, do you? Of course, but I possess all the knowledge of my predecessor, including the way he was overwhelmed before his death. I promise you that this time nothing will go unprepared for. I will not fail again. We shall see Agent Classified. For now, I forgive you, but do not test my patience. I'm only like to serve, Princess. Come at me. Very well. For now, I will withdraw your permission to engage. It was a mistake to arrest that rebel so openly. We can be glad that this didn't spark a wave of support for her cause, at least as far as we know. So what is my mission, Your You must return to Palmyville and track down Cheerily again, as well as the Cutie Mark Crusaders. But this time, you will not engage with them. Instead, I want you to keep an eye on their every movement and to report to me of how the situation is evolving in that town. While well, making sure to remain undetected, I presume. Yes. Before we can fabricate a new plan, we must first have an exact insight on the situation. While I must remark that the Phillies are your priority targets. Unlike their teacher, they have not yet gained the reputation of being conspiracy nuts. Which means if they get the idea to tell any pony about Dorchish prison, their words might actually find some ears who believe them. This means that now I will have to accept Chirley's revolutionary school, but at the moment, the CMC are the bigger threat. Do you wish for me to take care of that princess? No. For the time being, you will simply observe them and report to me regularly. Remain hidden until further notice. Your wish is my command, Highness. Dismissed. Roger. Agent classified out. Oh, I hope I was not interrupting anything important. No, we were finished either way. Who was that guy? A member of the Royal Guard? That doesn't need to concern you, Cadence. It was merely another one of my royal duties. Well, okay then. Say, do you know when we might be able to return to Equestria? I'm really starting to miss Twilight and Shining Armor. Really? Or was it that whole marriage between you two just for the show? Perhaps. But remember, we still had a baby together. It just so happened that the writing team on the sixth season was just been working on an episode like that. One should think that this rule of thumb about our continuity would be easier to comprehend. You know, family and blood relation are real, but all other relationships are not. And then we have you and Shining Armor. In the show, you're a married couple with a baby. And in real life, you're just colleagues with the baby. Yeah. But unfortunately, that doesn't change anything. We cannot return home yet. Oh, but why? You never told me about why we had to leave in such a hurry. Or why there was no time to also get Luna. It's a long story, and most of it is really boring, but basically it was about all the stuff that had been going on in Equestria lately. No, that great disturbance in the country's magic. You mean the one that made our voices sound slightly off? Exactly. For some ridiculous reason, the ponies thought that I was behind that which is complete bullshit. But weren't you? Weren't I what? Weren't you behind all that's happening? I distinctly remember you mentioning something about that underground lab of yours. You know, where you've stored that big machine. All that. Well, how was I supposed to know that my recall riser would drain this much magic? So much that the very fabric of existence became distorted, which then led to every pony's voices sounding weird. Yes, thank you for summarizing everything. That did not at all sound like pure exposition. Why did you even have this machine built? To make Equestria a better place. How? Once my recognizer had gathered enough magical power, it was finally strong enough to at last wipe out the most hideous, disgusting thing in this entire world. Don't tell me this was all just about that color. Purple. Someone just fucking shoot me. You might think I'm insane for attempting the impossible, but I made it happen. My recolorizer bundled all this gathered magic into one giant working energy blast. And for a few glorious hours, Equestria was rid of this abominable atrocity. You mean until Twilight reverted the color erasing within a few hours, on the very same day? Don't remind me of that. This act was supposed to be my magnum opus. Almost seven months I spent draining Equestria of its magic and speaking capability, all for this one glorious endeavor. And now it was all for nothing. And you bet your slightly oversized horn that I will get back at Twilight for this insolence. That Joseph would think she can just take my place now that I've been forced into exile. She doesn't seem to understand that I did not actually retire from my position out 
outside of that stupid TV show. But she'll be in for a surprise once everything has been prepared for my big return. If you was my witness, I swear that I will return to my former glory. And how long do you think is that still going to take? Oh, quit whining. I can't say yet. You'll just have to have some patience. <sighs> ah! What the hell? Sister! Oh, there you are. Princess Luna? Luna? What? How is this possible? How did you find me? I must talk to you. It's very important. But how did you know I was here? This is my secret hiding castle. Only I know where it's located. Hot convenience. Huh. Always the same. Now why did you come here? I'm here to inform you that I do in fact know of everything that's happened recently on your behalf, including the arrest of Ponyville's teacher, Miss Tyranny, as well as your attempted erasure of purple. But how? Those were all top secret operations. Rarity, of course. Huh, that's so typical. So what? You're here to start an uncle? Seize the chance to rise yourself. Um, actually I came here to warn you about this. You are anything but popular at the moment. I see. Well, thanks for warning me. But don't worry. I already have some wheels set in motion. You mean Agent Classified, but I heard he was killed in action. You do not need to know everything, little sister. Glad I really hear you. Whatever. So, was that everything you came here for? Yes. Well, actually, no. What else is it? Okay, I'm not even going to ask you not to laugh at me, because I know you will. But, um, you know, uh, I kind of tried out Twilight's horn when she slept. Well, 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 what do you know? Yes, yes, stop rubbing like that. I don't know what disappoints me the most about this. The fact that Princess Luna Hall ponies turned out to be no better than what she'd been scoffing at. Or that I actually had thought Will Bice had grown out of making these stupid sex jokes. It doesn't seem like it. You were right, okay. That horn really is a perfect fit. Told you so. So, why maybe hide out in this castle as well for a while? I fear that Twilight might have noticed something. Well, since the mob didn't lynch you after I left, I guess you might as well stay now. But hear this, the moment I see you wearing anything that is even remotely purple, I'll have you executed on the spot. You really do hate that color, like nothing else. Don't you dare upload it! No, I'm five minutes away! You hey, piece calm of down. shit! Hey, calm down! No, Ben, stop telling me to calm down so I can see the tiles now already! Big dick tiles and the t-shirt and the floppy fanny! <laughs> What do they say when you were in there, hell? They said, what aren't you? Are you homeless? Get out! I said, no, someone just took my clothes. Oh. They took my money! We got it, yeah. And they gave me a little pen stick. Where is it? Yeah. This is worth a lot of money.